What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Rayquaza team for ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Rayquaza in Regulation G, there's really one way to use it, and that is Extreme Speed next to Shen Pao. And we showcased this combo already a month or two back, but I want to showcase it again and use it to its fullest potential, considering this team is totally different. Let's talk about Rayquaza a little bit. Rayquaza, dope Pokemon with great stats. Rock and Airlock has its ability. As you guys know, weather is a huge part of competitive play, especially in Regulation G. So Airlock can actually help eliminate weather effects on the field. So Rayquaza is going to be a great Pokemon up against weather teams. Clear Amulet for its item with that normal Terror type. And then we got Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, Sword Sansco Plus 2 on attack and Protect. Pairing up with Rayquaza, obviously, is going to be Shen Pao. You got Swords of Ruin to help drop defense of all Pokemon on the field, allowing Rayquaza's E speed to do insane amount of damage. Shen Pao also has Focus Ash with that Stellar Terror type. I've been seeing a lot of Stellar Terror type Shen Pals as recently, and these things hit like a truck. He's got Iso Crash, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and last but not least, it has Protect. Our other four Pokemon on today's team are pretty meta standard Pokemon. You got the Choice Specs Fluttermane for Big Time, Stab, special attacking damage, and then you got Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Araquitid. Incineroar, great for physical attack drops and fakeouts. Rillaboom's great for fakeouts and terrain control. And Araquitid's a great wide guard user that thrives out in Trick Room. So if we're going up against any Trick Room team, we're going to be bringing our boy Araquitid. It could thrive out. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Rayquaza team. This is kind of weird, but we're going up against Diplin here in match number one. I haven't seen Diplin used in quite some time. Super dope Pokemon. It's legit just a candy apple. It's just an apple dipped inside like melted candy. Really cool Pokemon. I actually really like its design. But furthermore, they got Groudon. Groudon is a weather control Pokemon. We might have to go into our Airlock Rayquaza. They also have Sandy Shocks. They're rocking out with uh, Fluttermane, Incineroar. And Urshifu. Okay, who should we honestly lead here? I mean, I could just lead Incineroar. They do have a few physical attackers. And I could go into like my clear amulet Rayquaza, and that could be pretty good. Just go into that and that, and then bring Shen Pao in the back end. And last but not least, Fluttermane. Choice spec Fluttermane could be good, considering it should outspeed almost all these Pokemon, especially if they're going to give it the Protosynthesis boost. So I do like Fluttermane here. That's going to be the squad. That is going to be the squad. So depending on who they lead, I might just want to fake out and set up a Swords Dance and kind of get going from there, right? And then swap in Chen Pao, because once you get this Swords Dance set up, this Rayquaza is hitting like a truck. But I'm not going to lie, I'm actually kind of annoyed right now. There's one giant fly. I mean, it's not giant, but it's a big size to be a fly. Flying around my room, and I see it just like passing my camera and stuff, and it's starting to annoy me. So if you see me doing this, like grabbing at something, it's me trying to catch a fly. It's been in my room for like 10 minutes now. I should just open the door and let it leave, and it just flew past me. You guys might see it. I actually hope you guys see it on camera. It kind of be funny. It'll probably just like land on my face, like, Mwah, and I'll be like, oh, dude, I'll have to smack myself in the face to kill it, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes, but just know that there's a fly flying around. I actually just flew past the camera. I can't wait. Once I finish recording, the fly swatter's coming out. This thing is going to get it. It's going to get it. But we end up going Incineroar and... Um... And Rayquaza, they go Incineroar and Fluttermane. And their Incineroar is actually faster than mine. Their Incineroar a tad bit faster than mine. I think we just protect my Rayquaza. And we kind of just maybe swap. What's that play here? I could go for a knockoff. Not a bad play for us. We should protect, protect Rayquaza this turn. I'm going to protect. Um, I am just going to go for a knockoff instead of a fake out. Because if I had to guess, Incineroar most likely faking out my Rayquaza slot. Because he is faster. And I can't really fake out the Fluttermane. So I'm just going to attack the Fluttermane, right? Definitely my best interest to just use knockoff on that. So I protect my Rayquaza. We'll see what he wants to do from here. He's going to go for the fake out into the Incineroar slot. Ow. Into the Incineroar slot and just throw a dazzling bleed. Okay, so I could normal Terra here and I could bring out... What's it called? I could normal Terra and bring out Shin Pao if I want to. But I think I might just normal Terra and Dragon Ascent here and lower my defensive stats. I think I'm cool with that. I think I am cool with that, and then fake out the, the Fluttermane. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. We're not fake out, knock off the Fluttermane, just double down into it, just in case it's sashed. Right, and if it's not sashed, then the knockoff's gonna slide over onto Incineroar, and knock off probably whatever berry it's holding, the Citrus Berry most likely. 
So I end up going into our lovely little terror type. What am I Incineroar's doing here? Incineroar's kind of scaring me that bit here too. He's gonna, just gonna rip another Dazzling Gleam. I soak pretty well. Dragon is sinking a flyer. And honestly, mm, this could be tough. This could be tough. You are sash, this is why we double down. But now with my defense dropped, if Incineroar's attacking with like Flare Blitz, that could get ugly. But I doubt your attacking requires what Flare Blitz, right? Maybe a knockoff? We're probably gonna go for a knockoff. Can we soak this? We do soak this. That's big time for us. That is big time. So you knock off my clear amulet, no big deal. Knock off is now going to finish off you. And next turn is going to be a pretty solid turn for us to just swap Incineroar into Shen Pao and try to get off some E-Speed damage, right? I like it. I'm down for that. All right, so not bad start for us. We're picking up some damage. Our Rayquaza probably going to die out this turn, but I'll get it. If I get off some E-Speed damage here, I think we're sitting in a solid position. So let's see who they go into. They're going to go into Sandy Shock. So the chances are their last Pokemon is going to be Groudon. Now, do we think they swap into Groudon? There is a shot at that. There is a shot at them swapping into Groudon. But from here, E-Speed's going to be my play right into that slot. And we are just going to hard swap into Chen Pao here. And we're going to save our Flutter Man with Protosynthesis, which we expect all that good stuff. They end up with John, they're in Cinewar. They're going to go Protosynthesis pop for them. On top of that, we're going to swap our into Chen Pao. Oh, you don't have Groudon. Wow. That's surprising, right? That is super surprising. No crowd on here. I mean, you had full weather control. That was like your your, your kind of like play style there. I thought you would go into that. But now we're able to east speed with Shen Pao. Can we take out the Sandy Shocks? We do. Critical hit. Awesome. I'm not sure if we were KOing without it, but I'll take it all day. I love a little RNG on my side every once in a while. It's a big time KO for us. We'll take that. We'll take that. They pick up a nice KO. He is going to be able to intimidate both my Pokemon now. And I might just swap into my Incineroar here, correct? Actually, I should protect first. I should honestly double protect. Actually, let's just E-Speed. Who are you going to fake out? You might double down into. I don't even know. But we are going to intimidate him and swap our Shen Pao out. Yeah, it's going to be reply. I'd rather E-Speed you. So, you know, what? I'm going to do that and then just hard swap into my Incineroar. Get a nice little intimidate. Save my Focus Ash. And bring my Shen Pao stats back to normal. So I know E Speed isn't going to do as much damage as it normally did with Shen Pao next to it, but I think just intimidating, kind of just slow playing this, this one right here is pretty good for us. So down for it. So do they still have Terra? They still have Terra type? They're going to allow me to E Speed up. Cool. Maybe they thought I was protecting Rayquaza. Still able to E Speed do a huge chunk. Another crit! Another crit! We're just critting like crazy right now, which is good news for us. But, hey, I'll take that all day. This thing's defense is dropped. I have Fake Out ready to go. I can just go into Flutterman now, right? I can just go into Flutterman and pretty much win this game. And save the Shen Pao. But the question is, do they still have Terra? I kind of forget. Do they have Terra? I don't think they do. I mean, I, mean, I think they do. I think they do. I'm almost positive they, they haven't used it yet. Let me actually just check right now. And they did not use it. So we used it. They haven't used it. Are they going to use it here? I mean, I don't know. They might go into a Dark Terra type to try to go for Sucker Punch. But I mean, going Dazzling Gleam here into a Fake Out into the into this slot is probably your best bet, right? Yeah. You guys are detecting. I was going to Fake Out the Incineroar reading, reading a Detect, but... It's no big deal. Fake out's just gonna get blocked. And sooner, what are you going for? Maybe a Flare Blitz, maybe a knockoff. But I mean, Choice Spec Dazzle Gleam should be able to chunk up some nice damage. We love this damage. We still have Shen Pao in the back end. We can take a sword and some stuff. And Sinor actually soaks rather well. He's gonna knock off the Choice Specs. The Choice Specs ends up getting knocked off. I think we just go for Dazzle Gleam. And then on top of that, we go for a Flare Blitz and we double down into this uh, Urshifu slot. Urshifu. So we still have Focus Ash, which is good news on our Shen Pao. We still have that Pokemon in the back. And he ends up just staying in here without terrestrializing. And we get rid of the Urshifu. That's massive. Bye-bye, Urshifu. And we get another crit. I mean, we were KOing regardless, but still. Another crit is kind of funny. There's our RNG on crits going crazy right now. Knockoff's going to fly. We're able to soak. And we might die out. Oh, you get a crit now. But we might die out to this, uh, this Flare Blitz recoil damage. Depending on how much damage this Flare Blitz really does. Yeah, I think we die out the recoil here. You dead in Cinnor? I think you survived. Did you survive on like five? Yeah. Cool. But that's going to be game. We're just going to throw a Moonblast here. On top of that, we will go for a knockoff, I guess. And they finally cancel battle. So 1-0 to get things started. The Rayquaza team prevailing.
Moving on to our second match, and we versed Groudon in match number one, so it's only fair that we verse Kyogre in match number two. Going up against a top-tier Kyogre team with Tornadus, with Landers in its incarnate form. They also have Ferrigaraf, top-tier Pokemon, and then Archiludon and Rillaboom. Okay, so obviously, they're just going to go into their weather Pokemon. I could see them leading Tornadus and Kyogre, which would be okay for us to just lead, like, Rayquaza and Shen Pao. I mean, something that we are going to have to watch out for is going to be Ferrigaraf. And for Rickaraf's looking rather annoying, right? Stopping all first turn priority. We don't like that. We simply don't like that. Rillaboom's gonna be a good option for us. I do like having Rillaboom in this matchup. Um, do I lead Rillaboom? It's a real question. I think I just lead like Chen Pao and Rayquaza. I think we just do that. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Chen Pao and Rayquaza. Um I could go into my water bubble Pokemon. Water bubble. Hmm. I could just lead him. I could honestly just lead him. I could go Fluttermane and Araquanid. And then bring Shen Pao Rayquaza in the back end. Mm. That sounds nice, but I kind of want Robum here. I think we're actually fine with this lead. Actually, fine. I think we're fine without Rillaboom. Rillaboom could be nice, but I like Araquanid and Fluttermane here. Because if they do want to lead, say, their Tornadus and Kyogre, Wyguard is just going to be so massive. Cutting down a lot of different options that they have. So I like this. I like this little Wyguard Pokemon. So we might want to save Araquanid if they don't lead that, but I guess we'll, we'll play it by year, right? So let's just see who they end up leading. Show me Kyogre Tornadus. It's going to be Tornadus Archer Ludon. So they can set Rain with Rain Dance. Um, they can start throwing that around. Uh, do I want to hard swap Rackwood and just save that Pokemon? I could just go into a liquidation if I want to. I could hard swap. I might just want to go into a liquidation. Actually, let's just protect it. I do have Terror type in the water, which could help boost her damage. But I mean, it's going to be not very effective. I think we just protect you. We go Fairy Terror, Daz and Gleam. I like that. I personally like that. I wonder if we're going for Rain Dance or. I wonder if we're going for Rain Dance or Tailwind here. That's the real question. So we're just going to Fairy Terror and look for big time damage output. We got the choice specs on this. I like the damage output here. Let's see how this one points out here. A nice big time Terror Boost. Fairy. I love it. I feel like I haven't seen a different Terror than Fairy on Fluttermane in so long. It just has completely taken over mana. We're going to protect our Rack with it. We're just not dealing with Electro Shot, right? If that's the case. And she's going to go for a Tailwind to get things started. Now, are you going for Flash Cannon? That could be a little scary. You are going for the Flash Cannon. Can we soak this? I think we should. Yeah, we do soak it. That's beautiful. It's a big time soak. Dazzle Gleam's able to cook. How much damage are we doing with this? Not bad. That's not bad damage. Now, I could Wide Guard here. I wonder if you're going for Rain Dance or Electro Shot. I'm thinking of just Wide Guard here. Because if I had to guess, you're probably going to go for Bleak Wind Storm to finish off my Flutter main. And then go for like an Electro Shot into a Rack main. If I had to guess, that's my guess. So I'm just going to go for the Wide Guard. And then I'm just going to go for Dazzle Gleam. So I'm going to hope that my calculations, my predictions are kind of right here. We'll see. Yep, there's Bleak Wind Storm. Come on, man. Now show me. Are you still the same with uh, Electro Shot here? I wonder. Or not. Or I think you might... Hopefully, you go after Raccoonid. No, you go after Fluttermane. That Y Guard was so good, too. That Y Guard was so good. So he ends up doubling down, staying after me. Um, I could go for another Y Guard if I want to. He could go for a Rain Dance this turn. That's what I think he does. I think, in all honesty, we just go into. Oh, man. Arch going to be a pain. Archaludon's pain. But you know what? We're going to go into Shen Pao here. We are going to go into Shen Pao. We are going to go into uh, a liquidation. Into that Archaludon slot. Because if I had to guess, if I had to guess, you're probably going for Rain Dance with Tornadus. And then looking to attack me. You might go for another... Uh, what's it called? You might go for another... Bleak Wind Storm. But I doubt it after seeing that Y Guard. So I'm just going to double down to Arch Loot on here. 
Yep, there's the rain dance. All right, so he pops the rain dance. He wants to go for electro shot, probably into my rack one in. Hopefully, one of you guys can KO him. I really need to sing off the field because I feel like my Rayquaza and my Shen Pao can really get work done here. So I'm really hoping we can just KO this thing. He's gonna take out my Rakuten. The Rakuten's dead. He stands no chance. Can you take him out, Shen Pao? Super effective, not stab. I don't think you can take him out. In all honesty. Let's see. You do take him out. I love you, Shen Pao. That's big time damage. That's big time damage. Alright, so we get rid of Archaloot on finally. They got Rain Dance out and about. Um, we have Rayquaza here. We don't have Terror type. And I feel as here now they want to just rip Bleak Wind Storms, like Water Spouts, all that. But I honestly probably should have swapped into Rayquaza. Ate up the Electro Shot and then have my Arachnid in the back end. Because Wide Guard was just so massive. Especially with Kyogre. But I mean, we have first turn priority all day. So as long as they didn't bring Farigraph. If they didn't bring Farigraph, I really like where we're sitting. And they brought for Rigoraph. <laughs> and they brought for Rigoraph. How dare you bring for Rigoraph. But now I have to get rid of Rigoraph. Rigoraph has got to go. I mean, they can go for Bleak Wind Storms. I'm not too, really too worried about speed drops. Um, I think I just drag an Ascent. And at the same time, just double down into this Rigoraph slot. I think we have to get rid of Rigoraph if we want to shot up win this game. So I'm just going to double down to Rigoraph at this point. And to be honest, if you want to go for a Bleak Wind Storm, you can go for a Bleak Wind Storm. I'm thinking we could double down, we can just get rid of Frigoraph. And then maybe just start East speeding Sucker Punching around. Probably in our best interest. There's some nice speed drops. Of course you get the speed drops. And Dragon Ascent, how much damage are you doing? Kinda need you like almost KO in here. Nice damage. Shen Pao, can you still outspeed? That's really what I need. I need Shen Pao to still outspeed and just finish off Frigoraph. You do outspeed, but you miss an ISO crash. Just what I wanted. Just ruined everything. Now you pop a trick room, which kind of helps us. Does that kind of help us? I mean, it could. It could help us. I'm going to go here with that. And I'm going to stick with my Ice Crash because I know Sacred Sword. Actually, Sacred Sword is a KO. Is Shen Pao slower than these guys now? I'm curious to find out. Frigoraph's just going to protect. It's a smart play. Keep Frigoraph on the field. Real smart play for him. But yeah, if that Icicle Crash lands there, I love where we're sitting. If Icicle Crash landed there, we actually have a hot shot at winning this match. And it's kind of, I'm kind of annoyed that we missed it. Because if you think about it, if you think about it, Frigoraph dies out that last turn. Trick Room doesn't go up. Trick Room didn't really matter. But then, we could just Sucker Punch... And E speed the Kyogre and Tornadus. Tornadus wouldn't survive one of them. Kyogre might survive the other. But then we would just have to be able to soak up like a Origin Pulse or a Water Spout. And if they're going for Water Spout, they're really not doing that much damage because we're already getting all first turn priority shots. So honestly, this Furgraph dodging that, that what's it called? That Icicle Crash. Kind of won in the game. It would have been really close. I honestly don't know who would have won, but now that's definitely going to be game. I mean, I can go into a Dragon Ascent, but chances are this Kyogre is pretty slow. But yeah, I'm just going to run this one. I'm just going to run this one. So GG to our opponent. Nice miss attack from us. We go one and one. So guys, tough loss in that last match. I really wish that one would have played out, but I think I'm done using moves that are not 100% accurate. I really am. I feel like I miss so many of them if they're not 100 accuracy. It kind of getting on my nerves at this point, but we're going up against Karidon team. In match number three, looking for a winning record with this Rayquaza squad. Furthermore, they got Chiyu, they got Raging Bolt, they got Walking Wake, they got Fluttermane, and last but not least, they have Tornada. So their team fully thrives out in the sun. This is where I wish I had like a rain setter. Their team fully thrives out in the sun. So it seems like they're going to lead either Tornada or Koridon. Now I could just go into my Bleak Wind, or not my Bleak Wind Storm, my uh, Shen Pao Rayquaza, which honestly isn't a bad lead. These speeds go crazy. They do big time damage. Um, hmm. But who could they lead? They could lead Koridon and Fluttermane, which could be a little tough for us, right? Koridon, Fluttermane could be tough. I mean, but I still like my Rayquaza Shen Pao lead. I really do. We can bring Incineroar in the back end, and last but not least, our Fluttermane can thrive out here in the sun. We gotta bring Fluttermane. So that is gonna be our squad. That is going to be the squad. I mean, they could go Tailwind here early on, but again, with our first turn priority, they don't have a Pokemon like for a Giraffe or Serena over here to stop that. I think we could just do some big time damage. They don't even have an Intimidate user. I mean, we have clear amulet anyway, so 
think we would have been fine up against Intimidate User with Rayquaza. But we're 1-1. One one. Looking to grab ourselves a winning record. We'd love a nice little 2-1 winning record with Rayquaza today. Let's just see what they do. I mean, Karadon, I feel like, has to be lead. I feel like they want to set Sun as soon as possible and really start to get after it. Raging Bull could be a little bit of a problem. So, let's see. They go Fluttermane and Walking Wake. Not bad for us. I mean, I can Sucker Punch it, and I could E-Speed. I can do a little bit of both action. Hmm. What is my plan? I mean, right now, we're pretty fast. Right now, we're pretty fast. He's going to Proto-Synthesis pop up Booster Energy. Probably boost its speed. Yep, and I mean, at that point, we probably most likely just want to go into a Terra E speed into the slot. And just Sucker Punch this slot? Or do I use my Focus Ash? I mean, I can double Sucker Punch here, or I can double down in this slot. But to be honest, I think we just go for like an Icicle Crash in this slot. Nice, lovely ice of crash. So, obviously, I think they want to Thrasilize, but they're actually not going to. Because I was going to Stellar Terror type and just Sucker Punch this, uh, this Fluttermane, which I probably should have done and just let Rayquaza do its thing with, like, Dragon Ascent and stuff. But I like this Terra E speed. I think damage output is going to be big. It might not KO Walk Awake, which it doesn't, but still, I love that damage right there. Icy Wind now flies. They're going to slow us down a little bit, which is no big deal. You can slow me down a little bit. That's fine. I mean, we're going to be spamming first turn priority moves at this point. The point that was actually going to KO us. Ouch, man. Ouch! I really want to get off that Ice of Crash. I really want that Ice of Crash. I really wanted that. Uh, I could go into you. I think I'm going to save you. I think I'm going to Fluttermane at this point. He's Booster Energy Speed. Mm, we might just want to go into you. Yeah, that Icy Wind and Flamethrower taking me out. I wish I could have bought one more turn. If I could have got one turn out of my... Uh, I could have got one turn out of what's called. Out of Champelle, that could have been massive. But I think from here, we just want to pop a nice little... I could actually Sword Stance here. Now, that's not a bad turn to Sword Stance. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to Sword Stance. And I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz in this slot. Because I think Walking Wake is going to protect here. And Fluttermane honestly has a chance of swapping. Fluttermane honestly has a chance of swapping. I'm going to actually fake tears, man. You're just going to actually KO me? I could've just faked you out and set up the Swords Dance. I could've just faked you out and set up the Swords Dance. You didn't protect. You have fake tears. That's actually wild. All right, looks like we're going for E speeds for now on. After a Swords Dance plus, plus two kind of play. So they don't want to Terrasilize their Fluttermane, which is understandable. Um, hmm. Do I choice in a Shadow Ball here? I don't think I do. I am scared of this. This is scaring me. I think I just E-Speed to KO you. Good choice in Shadow Ball. But really what I want to do is this. Dragon Ascent to look to KO you. And then just go Dazzling Gleam. Which I'm honestly going to do. Let's see how this one plays out here. I am scared of Icy Wind. Icy Wind I'm terrified of. But I kind of hope he just protects Walk and Wake here. Or even swaps it. That will be fine. Nope, just go for Icy Wind, man. I keep trying to make a read, it's just not happening for me. So Icy wins me down. You know, for Hydro Steam, can you soak this Fluttermane? I really hope you can. You do, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So now I'm able to Dragon Ascent. Finish off you. You're gone. And I'm able to Dash and Gleam and finish off Walking Wake. Now they're gonna have some speed here. Rage of Bolt could potentially be that Pokemon. And. Hmm. How do I play this one? They're probably going to have Terra Fire on their Coridon. But I feel like this game really comes down to me trying to make reads that just weren't happening. Right? I was trying to make a bunch of reads and they just weren't doing it. Like, they weren't protecting, they weren't swapping, they weren't doing anything. But now they're going to go into Coridon here and into Rage of Bolt. Yeah, Rage of Bolt flies through here. So Raging Bolt, Coridon. I think we have to E-Speed this, uh, this what's it called. I think we have to E-Speed here. This Coridon slot. Because he's probably going to Thrasilize. I could honestly Dragon Ascent, but E-Speed's going to be tremendous. So I'm going to go E-Speed there. I'm going to stick with my Dash Gleam. Let's just chunk up some damage. We do get a Proto Synthesis boost from Fluttermane. And honestly, that really helps us out. That really helps us out. But I'm almost positive we're going to see a Terra type from Coridon come out here. And he has him just protecting Coridon. That's tough news. Can you soak up whatever he has to offer? Rayquaza? I need you here, Rayquaza. Honestly, this Dash Gleam should do a nice chunk of damage into Raging Bolt. He's going for Thunderclap into Fluttermane and just KO my Fluttermane. Oh man, that's tough. 
that's real tough. That's real tough. That's a big time protect from him. So he is life orb. We do see that. I am going to go for an E-speed here. I'm plus two on physical attack. This is terra boosted E-speed. I'm hoping we can just, you know, KO here and then maybe switch to Dragon Ascent and look to win this match. But I don't know if two E-speeds can actually win this match. These guys are bulky Pokemon, especially Raging Bolt. Especially Raging Bolt. But we'll see a Terra pop out here. Probably from Raging Bolt, just for bigger electric damage, right? Yep. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? And that pretty much wraps it up, right? He's just looking to go for a Thunderbolt here. Man, that Protect on that Karadon was actually massive. It was massive. But E-Speed's gonna fly here. How much damage is doing? I think this should KO. It doesn't even KO! We leave him on one. He goes for Clutch Course. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Jeans. I wish I, I, I wish that would have just came out. But yeah, not too bad today. I mean, we're, we went up against some good teams. We end up going with one and two for today's video. But honestly, both our losses were very close battles. Wish we could have grabbed you guys a winning record for today's video. But honestly, I think we should have won match number two. And in match number three, our opponent just played simple and actually won him the game. I tried making reads. They weren't happening. Our opponent, like I already said, made simple plays. And that just won him the game. It was how Pokemon go sometimes. To be honest, making simple plays will win you the games in a lot of situations. So if you guys are ever struggling, just play a bit more simpler. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.